Hi there, welcome to a new episode of Behind the Lens and I'm Paul and I'm hoping you're doing well. In today's episode I'm actually going to more react on something than review something and that is the release of the PGY Tech Man Mantis, Mantis? Mantis uh, tripod for vloggers. So this is specifically designed at vloggers and I've seen a ton of reviews yeah, and I was like, okay, I like so many of us bought the Jobies and like so many of us, we quickly found out that yes, these things do work as long as the arms stay intact. Yeah, these little gorilla arms, so you could wrap it around stuff and pretty awesome. Uh, didn't allow you much uh, room for any kind of customization. So you normally needed a camera case if you wanted to have a light and a microphone. So those were one of the downsides. I think they were the first ones to really coin the market in terms of, uh, oh, let's buy, let's develop a product aimed at vloggers here yeah, because it was pretty much coming up back then. That's only a couple of years ago. So I bought, like all of you, this Joby and I really wasn't impressed. So I bought this simple, newer, very small, what is it, a newer 50, I think it is. Not that expensive. It's, it's awesome. You can pretty much extend whatever you want to. It's an awesome little thing. Doesn't cost that much good ball head on it so you can pretty much revolve it anywhere a little um, screw blade on here so it's pretty awesome it it has done the job for me and in the meantime i was always looking for this kind of product which was awesome aimed at vloggers and really would help all of our problems so there came the switch pod if you had the ball heads on it sure it provided you a lot more versatility but you couldn't wrap it around things so i was always a bit skeptical about this one but i've seen a lot of people love it so who am i it at least was light to carry and you could take it basically anywhere that's one of the things you want to but still it didn't really uh, accommodate my needs and probably your needs as well okay i want something that's light portable versatile in terms of where I can use to, where I can use it to, so I want to attach it on certain things. I want to be able to uh, extend some arm and mount my camera on it. I want hot shoes to be available on it. I don't want to continuously buy everything else, and preferably, I want the mounting plate to be from Arca Swiss. Now, do not fear, PGI Tech is here. With the Mantis, they basically released a product which seems to have all of that incorporated, which is awesome. Now, I've seen a ton of reviews already because it's not available on sale now. It only ships from the 30th of May. And that made me think, hmm, shall, shall I buy or not? So I basically go from negative, neutral, to positive buy. And based on the reviews I've seen, I'm pretty much still neutral. Yes, I see there's a potential for it, but I'm not 100% sure. Until I saw Peter Lindgren, the Swedish uh, YouTuber, his full review. And I like Peter Lindgren because he's to the point quite honest about what the product does well and what it doesn't do well. So I was watching his review and yes, it is light and portable. The form factor is literally like a stick like this. So that's great from a design point of view. There is an Arca Swiss mounting plate, so you just click on and click in, which is really handy instead of having to <laughs> turn. I didn't know it was loose. Yeah, so pretty okay. I'm pretty happy with that. And then I was watching that review, watching that review, and all of a sudden, Eureka! Eureka moment. The screw here, and this is what Pete Lindgren seriously demonstrated very well. Once we uh, have this in, you think it's rock solid, but in general, it's not. Now, what Pete Lindgren did, he mounted his Sony A7 III with a big lens on it, and basically started fooling around to see whether or not um, your camera would, would be rock solid attached uh, into your plate and into the screw and it did so for me it was like oh i went from very much neutral to ooh, positive positive in buying but then i saw the price and it retails at about 180 not well sorry 150 dollars for the pro mantis if you buy the version without arca swiss plate and some other accessories it's going to cost you 100 euros and i thought 150 euros or dollars or equivalent in your local currency hmm that made me from green, going into green, yellowish, neutral or buy. Now, I'm still not sure about it, but it has all the markings of a great tripod. Now, I'm really curious here. What are your thoughts about this? Do you think it's another sales gimmick? Are you planning to buy it? I'm always very conscious of the fact that there is a gear trap. Yeah, and I think you've had this as well, you know, share a few of the comments below what you had in those gear traps. 
what you really don't want to have is fall into another gear trap. So, but the way I'm looking at this, this seems to be designed very well. The PJI Mantis, it seems to cater for many of the needs that we have, but the price point makes me a bit, I wouldn't say wary, but a bit cautious to actually buy it immediately on the blind because I find $150 quite a lot of money. Uh, so hmm, with that guys, if you have any other questions, just let me know and I'll try to answer them either via the, via the keyboard or maybe I'll dedicate a specific episode. Thank you very much for watching. Don't fall in a gear trap. Stay healthy, stay safe. See you next time.